Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. The final car of update 35 is officially here and it is a very cool one. This is the Porsche Taycan Cross Turismo. I really hope that this car has some good customization. Let's go unlock it and find out. Yes! <laughs> That was really close. We got him. It is a super quick car. It's got 750 horsepower, 775 foot pounds of torque. It is a little bit on the heavy side, but I think horsepower can make up for that if I'm on it. Although it might not look like it on the surface, this is actually an off-road car. Instead of taking it to a racing circuit like I usually do, why don't I take it to like rally circuits? So some on-road, some off-road. I think that'll be pretty good. As per usual, this wouldn't be an AR12 video without any fun facts about the new cross is the Porsche Taycan that's already in the game. That's the sedan version, the regular one. In real life, I, I want to say those are probably the most common version of the Taycan you'll actually see driving around. A year or two after the Porsche Taycan came out, they decided to introduce two estate versions of it, the Cross Turismo and the Sport Turismo. The one that we have in the game is the Cross Turismo. Cross Turismo is like the off-road version and the Sport Turismo is the on-road race version. One of the easiest ways to tell the difference is just if you look at the wheel arches, the Sport Turismo has painted wheel arches. The Cross Turismo has like uh, black ones. The Sport one is also lower than the Cross one and so on and so forth. Porsche actually came out and said that they've been selling extremely well. And I think it was only like a year or two after they launched, they had already made up almost 10% of every single car that Porsche's like sold during that year. I think they are fantastic looking cars. I absolutely love estate cars. And if I was going to get an electric estate car, 100% would be this one. A couple of years ago, back in, I think it was like 2017 or 2018, I was invited out to Germany. And specifically, I was invited to a Porsche dinner at a cool uh, Porsche museum they had the concept car for the porsche taken the porsche mission e i ended up actually meeting porsche's spokesperson for the car mark weber the formula one driver if you've ever wondered why i always stumble on the porsche mission r and mission e name and the reason why i don't understand it it's because i still have porsche mission e baked into my brain and i still cannot like break that i guess Thing in my brain, that connection in my brain. In Forza Horizon 5, this thing definitely feels a little bit on the heavy side. Once we jump into the customization, we are definitely going to need to do some weight reduction because that was kind of atrocious in the corners. Why don't I just do things a little bit out of order for this car? I guess at the end of the day, it is like an off-road car. What if I turn this into the ultimate S1 off-road car? I think that'll be a very, very nice place to start. So you know what? Let's just start things off immediately. Off-road race tires that downgrades our PI a little bit, gives us a little bit more upgrade room. Anyways, let's see what engine stuff we've got, motor stuff we've got. We can upgrade the battery in this thing to 900 and 75 horsepower a thousand foot pounds of torque or we can swap the battery out we have two swap options we've got the porsche mission r battery swap and the rimac battery swap a thousand nine hundred horsepower i mean i guess both of those make sense huh being able to swap the mission r battery into this definitely makes sense but then porsche and rimac have done a ton of work together so i guess that also makes sense i think that motor actually makes us too powerful i want to focus more on weight reduction and less on sheer horsepower so i'm gonna downgrade into the mission r battery because then i know we can upgrade that battery 1,100 horsepower. I think that's a nice middle ground. Then we can go and get our weight reduction now. Remove a full 1,000 pounds out of the thing. We can also go and get some race suspension. We do have drift suspension. This is actually going to be a killer drift car. Very excited for that. I've got my rally suspension on. Let's go do some aero stuff. Never mind. And the rear wing. Why is it wearing a hat? I understand the rear wing will make me better, but I won't be able to drive faster if I'm constantly vomiting everywhere. I'm not going to put the rear wing on. I think this car is going to be unbelievably uncompetitive. We're a solid like five minutes in and we've already, we're sub 4,000 pounds now. We've already discovered that the mission, 
The Cross Turismo is useless if you want to take it online. That is not a very good start. Now we can jump in and actually give this thing a nice paint job. So there are no advanced painting options for this thing. We've got the black, red. Red's really nice. I really like the baby blue as well. White's not bad. Silver, decent. The blue looks a bit cheap what if i actually try this at the top of the volcano in the middle of a snowstorm maybe it's the ultimate canadian car is this going to be the ultimate daily driver estate i wasn't expecting the motor swap to change the sound so much <laughs> That's insane! Apparently, all you have to do to make an electric car sound good, throw away the standard motor and get one out of an electric race car. Right up until this moment, I thought the developers only had like one electric car engine sound in this game and just copy pasted it for all of the electric cars. Apparently, that's not the case. Now that the Taycan's gone on a bit of a diet, boy, does it drive nicely. It's always tough when the developers add cars like this because it's like, in real life, these cars, fantastic. But it's like, in Forza Horizon 5, how much fun is it really gonna be? I think the developers have actually done a really good job with this, giving it all of that customization so we can really have some fun with it. Very nice. It might not be realistic now with our mission R battery, but I like it. I don't know what you guys think, but maybe this is one of the best daily electric cars out there. If you're not a fan of, like, the big SUVs and stuff, I'm a, I'm a simp for estate cars, okay? I really like it. Chat says the non-wagon might be better. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say you would buy a sedan over an estate car? Anyways, back to the festival. I guess let's give it a go on the quarter mile. If we're gonna give it a go on the quarter mile, obviously we're gonna need to say goodbye to those off-road race tires. Hello, drag tires. That drops our PI even lower. And now we can also say hello to even more horsepower. So goodbye, Mission R battery. Hello, Rimac battery. What's it say the 0 to 60 is? 1.4 seconds now. We're definitely talking sub 10 seconds. We're probably talking sub 9. Realistically, it should probably be like in the 7s. 1,900 horsepower is not something you mess around with. Yeah. In the seven. I can improve my gear ratios. Let's see if we can get a seven five real quick. My gear ratios were a tad long. So let's just shorten those up. Let's try there. Although the game says we're going to make our zero to 60 worse like this. I'm going to try giving it a little bit more power to the rear. And hopefully it'll be even quicker now. Coco, I guess you're right. The reason it's able to put its power down so nicely is because it does weigh like an incredible amount. I guess that's probably why the game says 50-50 like power distribution is actually like the optimal play. Yeah, a 760. I can maybe go a little quicker. I want a 75. Come on. Come on, Porsche. Come on, Porsche. All the way. Good shift. Good shift. Come on. Get there. Get there. Get there. I think that might have been a 75. Might have been. All right, well, I, 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 on, the, on the positive side, at least it's very consistent. What's actually funny about this drag racing build, since we've got the drag tires on, that in, or sorry, decreases our PI, and we've got more horsepower now, so we're top of S1 perfectly, but yeah, I don't think that's gonna last. Let's get some front arrow, let's get some rear arrow, and let's ditch those drag racing tires for, I guess let's just go balls to the wall full slick. What could possibly go wrong here? We're a little bit heavier, we are middle of S2. I don't understand how a car this heavy is middle of S2. I guess it is what it is. Everything could go wrong with how many skill issues you're about to have. No, the only skill issue I'm about to have is under. And then I'll blame it on the car because I'm a professional racing driver. Throughout human history, a racing driver never made a mistake. It's just the car that's always had a problem. It's really weird. I Crazy stat. All right, let's see what we can do. Fully ma- That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird off the line. The launch control made it feel like it dug a hole a hole in the ground. It has zero grip. This is bordering on undrivable. Look at it. If you saw the video that I uploaded the other day about buying cars blindfolded, I was complaining about the auto union because that thing's from the 1930s and has like awful tires on it. This thing is on full racing slicks. 
and it doesn't have the ability to take corners at slow speed. Right now, we're relying on the arrow to take corners. Look at this. On the brakes, the car just slides out from under you. It's obviously got really good torque off the line, but even on the brakes, it's try... It's almost undrivable. Game doesn't know this isn't the drift build yet. Stop sliding! Oh my days. It's just... That is one of the vehicles of all time. I'm just gonna say, as a race car, maybe not the best option for a heavy, heavy boy. Since this car wants to drift so much, I guess we should let it do what it wants to do and go drifting with it. I can't make it rear wheel drive. We're committed to the all wheel drive. I'm gonna ditch the arrow. I'm forced to go all wheel drive, so we're gonna have to toss the drag tires back on. The only other upgrade is drift suspension i guess a drift zone kind of like this actually why don't i just go to my favorite drift zone this car should be good at like the longer flowy corners using all of that horsepower and kind of using the weight kind of to its own advantage in we go baby get through here get through here use the weight to your advantage oh my oh you could actually make that oh my god you could actually make that boys this might be doable oh man Oh, man. I think we might have found the thing the Porsche Taycan is good at in this game. That's a good first run. Oh, I'm well, I, to be fair, that was a bad first run. But that was a very good first run. And we're going to need to get some pretty significant angle. Oh, my God. Yo, I can't even see where I'm going. Is this a new... This, this might be a new PV. Focus, 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 focus. What a line through corner one. No way. This is ridiculous. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! 240k! That is downright disgusting. The lines that this thing can pull. What a monster when it comes to drifting. Just into whatever corner you want send it through and just just keep going i don't think i've ever driven a car that's been so bad at everything else and so good at drifting what a cool car